the principle I want to talk about today in re related to, uh, to health care, and, and there's always a principle behind what I try to talk. And actually, this is a principle that's going to shape the entire show today. It, 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 we'll call it personal responsibility um, because this is a country built on the idea of personal responsibility. But I want to I I delve deeply into what personal responsibility, personal responsibility actually means. Because so many people talk about it and talk about it in superficial, narrow terms. And to me, this is a deep, important, meaningful concept, meaningful idea that is really at the heart of, of the founding of this country. This country is about leaving people free to pursue their own happiness. This is a country that believes, or at least in its founding believed, that every individual has the capacity, using his reason, using his mind, to figure out what's good for himself and to go and pursue it. And if they don't, if they make mistakes or they just are lazy or they just don't figure out what's good for themselves, that's on them. It's not my responsibility to bail out my neighbor every time he makes a mistake. It's not my responsibility to bail out my fellow Americans, wherever they might be, when they make a mistake. It's not my responsibility to be my brother's keeper. And it's not the responsibility of the government to serve as an intermediary between me and my brother and make sure that I am my brother's keeper. My responsibility in life is to take care of myself, is to live the best life I can for myself, is to do and, and, and engage in the actions and in the thoughts necessary to achieve something with my own life and to make something of my own life. Other people's responsibility is to take care of their lives and to make the most of their lives. Now, this is not just a political question. This is not just about the, the government stepping away and letting us, each one of us, make the choices and make the decisions that are, that are necessary for the fulfillment of our own life. This is also a moral statement about the moral responsibility you have first and foremost towards yourself towards your own happiness, towards your own fulfillment, towards your own flourishing. And only secondarily and only to the extent that it serves your own life to help your neighbor and to help your brother, to help your fellow American. But we are not obligated to do so. There's nothing in the Constitution and Declaration of Independence that says, that indicates, that suggests, or in the Federalist Paper for that sense, that we have a moral obligation or political obligation to take care of everybody who makes a mistake out there or anybody who's just too lazy to take care of themselves. It's not only about mistakes. Mistakes are kind of morally neutral, but some people, people are just immoral. People just behave badly. People just don't think. People just don't engage in what is necessary to live a fulfilling, successful life. And is it my responsibility, therefore, to jump in and with my wallet open to, to rescue them at every opportunity? Now, that's what Obamacare suggests. And that's what the whole idea of socialized medicine suggests. Obamacare is not insurance. Socialized medicine is not insurance. Obamacare and socialized medicine view health care as something, they, they view it as a right. A right that it's our responsibility to grant those who otherwise would not buy insurance, let's say. And, and, and Republicans have bought into this. This idea of universal insurance, that everybody must have insurance, and that the government is responsible for making sure that everybody has insurance, is a moral travesty. No, it's your responsibility to buy insurance. And if you don't, that's on you, not on me. It's not my moral responsibility to bail you out. It's not my moral responsibility to subsidize your insurance. It's not my moral responsibility to, 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 to pay for your health care. If you have not saved and you have not bought insurance because you chose not to. Now, if you fall on a bad luck, we all know what the remedy for that is. We Americans are incredibly generous when we see somebody suffering for no fault of their own. Charity. It's called charity. And charity has always been part of American life. And when somebody falls on bad luck, if somebody, you know, gets in an accident or somebody you know, just didn't have the income to be able to afford insurance for whatever reason, then 
you know, their charities, charity hospitals, the charitable institutions, there's the charity of the neighborhood and the community, but there is charity. But you, because you have fallen on bad luck, because, or because you have made bad choices in your life, you do not have a right to my wallet. You do not have a right to my time. You do not have a right to my efforts. My life is mine. That's what the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness means in a Declaration of Independence. You cannot have a right to health care because that right to health care necessitates that I provide it to you. Whether through money, by subsidizing your health care, or whether if I'm a doctor, I have to treat you. I don't have to treat you. If you can't pay, why would I treat you? If you can't pay, a restaurant doesn't give you food. If you can't pay... A doctor has every right not to treat you now. We can talk about emergencies, life-threatening situations. But generally, a doctor is not your slave. A doctor is not required to take care of you no matter what. So socialized medicine assumes that the doctor is a slave, and I am indeed the slave, that we're all a slave to one another, that we all are responsible for one another. We all have to take care of one another. But that is fundamentally... Anti-American. That is fundamentally anti-American. The idea of America is the idea that we are each responsible for ourselves. That our moral responsibility is to take care of ourselves. That our moral responsibility is to do the best that we can. To make the best choices. To think. To plan. To have a, a plan for life. Not just to randomly, you know, drift through it, but actually plan it out so that we can afford insurance. Now, we'll get to why some people can't afford insurance today, how government has created a situation where you can't have insurance today. Obamacare, socialized medicine, government intervention in healthcare undercuts at every level this idea of personal responsibility. 